Hi again everyone, this is Mino03 from eBay and YouTube and I also now have an e-commerce site coming very soon called ToyGamingEmporium.com That site should be launching within a week or two hopefully by the second week of May at the latest. Today I got in the new Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game Duos Pack Kaiba got a couple of cases I'll have the singles of these in my eBay store. Not sure if all these will end up on my e-commerce site, toygamingemporium.com or not. Depends on how quickly I sell through them through eBay and when the site launches. So, gonna try to open up a whole box here within the 10 minute time frame, or as much of it as I can. So, as you can see, Duos Pack Kaiba. So let's get right into the opening here. I'm not going to go through and show every single common. I'll do it on the first whole pack just to show you some of what's there. But for time saving purposes, I'm not going to show every single card. So you get strategy card first. And then there's a regular rare Kaiser Seahorse, Sword Stalker, Reign of Defense, Polarmization, Lord of Dragons. Let's see, the rarities of the card in here, there's 40 cards total, it says collect 19 common cards, 4 per pack, 8 rare cards, 1 per pack, 5 super rares, 1 in 5 packs, 3 different ultra rares, 1 in 15 packs, and 5 different ultimate rares, 1 in 24 packs. There's also 10 strategy cards, 1 per pack. I know the ultimate rares include Cyber Jar, Crush Card Virus. Um, Reign of Destruction, a couple others. Alright, there's one of the three ultra rares, the best one. I don't, I'm not sure I pronounce it for sure, but Malefic, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Oop, had a glare, sorry about that. That's by far the most expensive ultra rare of the three. So that's nice to pull right out of the gates, pretty much. Put that in a sleeve right away. Mint straight from pack to sleeve. Let's see. Okay, and then you still get a regular rare in the pack as well. Paladin White Dragon. Judge Man. Ancient Lamp. White Dragon Ritual. Vampire Lord. For time purposes, like I said, I'll kind of go through them kind of fast. Look at the rare card in the pack and then go to the next one. Get through as much of the box as we can in 10 minutes. Kaiser Glider. Rich Battle Axe. I know a few of the cards have new alternate art from previous versions of the cards. I think the Jin Dragon that was the tail end of that last pack is one of those with new art. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Try to get without a glare, there we go. That one's not too terribly expensive. And then we got another Vampire Lord. And a couple of Dragon Cannon pieces. Alright, there's our first ultimate rare, Pot of Greed. Nice and shiny. I've been, I used to play the Yu-Gi-Oh card game myself years ago, but I know back then this was in pretty much every deck. I don't know if it still is, but I would assume it's still in a good majority of decks. Okay, so that one's got checklist on it, looks like. So that's not necessarily a strategy card. And there's our first super rare. 
So hey, we've actually had two ultimate, two ultras and one ultimate before getting a super rare. So now I'll probably have a streak where we don't get anything besides super rares or regular rares, but it's no big deal. And I put everything that is a holographic into sleeves as soon as I pull them. Sometimes when I'm doing videos, I set them aside and sleeve them after the video just to save time. But as my listings usually say, the cards went directly from packs. I opened myself directly into a soft sleeve. And then for shipping purposes later, into a top loader. So, got to keep true to my word. I know the quality and condition of the cards is a very high number one priority for most buyers. So, if someone's buying it for a deck, then they may not care so much if it's mint or not, as long as it's playable. But for the set collectors in that, of course, condition is very key. Force Raider, the regular rare there. Another Paladin of White Dragon. No. Probably, probably won't get them listed right away, but I'll probably also do common sets and the regular rare sets too. It's because I'll probably have a lot of those compared to the other cards. Since you get one rare in every pack, even if you get a hollow with it. And there's eight rares in the set, so if there's a six pack box, we get equal distribution, you'll get four rare sets in a box, so I'll have plenty of those. <laughs> Blue Eyes White Dragon, super rare. I don't know well you can tell if it's hollow, but I think you can tell. I apologize if I can't look through the camera constantly, but a lot of times I look down and I see there's a glare on the card, so hopefully this is turning out okay and you can see what I'm doing and getting here. Looks like I'm only getting half the box done here because we're already at seven minutes. Got about six, seven packs left on this side, so I'll try to hustle through this half of the box. I think I'll do a second video where I do the second half of this box just so you can see a full box break. And the other, the rest of the case I'll do off camera and just go through as quick as I can and get the stuff onto eBay ASAP. Alright, four more on this side, and then we'll wrap up this video, and we'll do the second half of the box in a second video. Another Kaiser Glider. Let's see a Crush Card Virus. Hmm. So we got two Blue Eyes White Dragons within a few packs of each other. Kind of interesting. And Divorce Raider, 1900 attack, four stars. I assume that's still amongst the best, if not tied for the best. In the when I played Gemini Elf was the highest four star monster at 1900 attack, so. Originally 1800 was the highest they went. Different Dimension Dragon. And last pack of the side. down. So in the first half of the box, give or take a pack because I may have gotten split around a bit, you got two blue eyes white dragon, one two, we got fiend sanctuary super rare, pot of greed ultimate rare, and ultra rares of blue eyes ultimate dragon, and malefic blue eyes white dragon. I'll be back with the second video with the second half of the box. And these packs here. And again, once I have this uploaded, I should have at least all the supers, ultras, and ultimate rares on my eBay and my eBay store. And coming soon is my e-commerce site, toygamingemporium.com. Again, don't know if I'll have these on there or not. Depends how fast I sell out of them through eBay. But upcoming releases I will have on toygamingemporium.com. So rate, subscribe, friend, comment, etc. And I'll see you next video with the second half of the box.